Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, here at the trailer, as promised, uh, we'll go ahead and open it up, show you guys what we uh, what we're using for this season. Let me turn this around guys so yeah i'm gonna go over uh the trimmers what brands we use on the edgers uh the mowers uh why we got certain things how we have them equipped certain ways certain heads um so this is pretty much what we use on a daily basis guys this is the this is the see the setup um you know we get another trailer going this is exactly how it's going to look this is exactly what's going to have um the head trimmers here we have the uh hl94 extended shaft with the articulating blade uh so with the 94 you're going to get a lighter head so it's going to be it's going to be lighter for you guys to use and the articulating blade works really good so if you want to get behind hedges you can go ahead and, and tilt it a little bit and, and get extra get extra hedges back there um we have uh two head trimmers we have the extended shaft and then we got a regular short shaft they're both 94s you got that one over there um so depending if you don't need uh you don't need the the the, the long shaft and we most of the time we use a short shaft for most of the the hedges uh we always have um two edgers two hedge trimmers um and three trim regular tr uh, string trimmers uh this is uh, both edges are uh, 91 FC 91. You can barely see it guys. I got put this wood here and The reason why I put this wood here is so that the Sun doesn't beat down my engine heads all day and and they get hot and then they don't want to uh, Work right. So that's why we got that wood there uh, So we're gonna have 291 Edgers you got one here is the main one they use if for any reason this one goes down um, Then they have another one right here for them to use and that's the reason why i always have two they're both the same brand 91s um but it's always good to have more than one in your trailer so that way uh you can go if one goes down you have another one you can use while the other one goes to the shop and then we have three trimmers they're all uh 111 i'll show you here they're all fs9 uh 111 um fx I'm sorry rx um so they're the lighter version of the 111s but they still have the same power so they work great all three of them have darwin's grip if you guys aren't using darwin's grip man i highly recommend you guys get on it because it makes a world of a difference when you're trimming all day um and then they're all equipped with speed feed heads and actually uh, i'm gonna do a little bit of truck talk when i'm done in the trailer so stay tuned don't um you know don't go anywhere uh when i'm done showing you the trailer I'm actually going to go over a little bit more detail of why I use the speed feed of why why I use the the Darwin's grip and um and why I have this this particular setup. I come um, so we have always two 5 gallon tanks of gas, regular gas for the mowers. Uh we have a 48 inch right mower in here and a 36 inch right mower. All right, and if you guys are wondering if I'm still using this power lock that I uh, put a video up on, yes, I am. Um, this thing's giving you no issues whatsoever. Uh, it's a really good investment. There it is. Still using that. Uh, what I've done is I put wood on the floor behind the mower, and then the second mower just doesn't move because it's kind of goes up against the first mower, and then that one has wood also behind it and with that uh they don't move at all uh, they stay exactly where they need to be and then uh we have two lightweight push mowers and i made a video on why i have these two lightweight toro residential push mowers that weigh 70 pounds that is uh the uh the rainy uh, what we do when it rains video so if you guys want to know why i have these two cheapos instead of a heavy duty commercial push mower uh you know go go back to my videos and look up the uh when it when it rains what we do when it rains video and uh, that explains a little more as to why we have these in here now um and then everyone, everything else is basic guys catchies if you guys don't have catchies if your local mower dealership or wherever you can find these if you can find these i highly recommend it um if i if i can make a video of the guys using it one day we do have a cleanup tomorrow 
I might I might record a little bit of that and show you guys um, what that does, but it's pretty basic. It's pretty explanatory. Um, that lays flat on the floor. This lip right here lays flat on the floor and you can just rake a bunch of leaves or grass, excess grass or whatever you want in there very easily. And then you just grab the whole the whole thing and just uh, and put it into a garbage bag. It is so much faster uh, to pick up stuff if you don't have um, grass catchers or baggers or anything like that um, on your mowers. So yeah, uh, really good. We always have rakes and shovels and all that stuff for landscaping. We're always equipped with that, that, that type of stuff. Um, and then up there we have our uh, pole saw. It's a 91 pole saw, so it has power. It's good, it extends out. Uh, all steel equipment, guys. And then we have a, a chainsaw underneath that pole saw. I don't remember what brand. Uh, I think it was a 350. Uh, I don't feel like taking it out right now, but it's uh, it's good. I mean, it, it, for the type of jobs we do, guys, uh, which is not, we don't, we don't do anything heavy duty. We still got this. I know I put a video of when I first put this up. I still have this in here. Got the spare on the wall. Um, and then just uh, always equipped. I always have my guys equipped with oils and stuff. Uh, and then over here, guys, we have uh, three two and a half gallon uh, mixed fuels. All those are the mixed fuels. So uh, the guys know whenever uh, the blowers or the stick equipment need gas, they're gonna be taking it from the left side out of a two and a half tank. And whenever the mowers need gas, they're gonna be taking it from the right side on the five gallon regular, regular gas. Uh, we have two uh, 800X backpack blowers. Um, I went with the X because uh, it seems a little lighter in the seat. I have a seat. Uh, it's in the garage uh, over there. It's put away. Um, the guys didn't like it too much. The seat is the, the side pool ones, if you guys don't know. Uh, the guys seemed kind of have, have, they had trouble using it. So then I just decided to get two 800 uh, X blowers. They work awesome. They're great. And then we have all types of sprays, pesticide, weed, and weed grass, just to upkeep our properties. And the reason why we have the sprayers next to the door instead of the blowers is because of the heat issues. So that way the sun's not beaming down straight on the backpack blowers either. So that's the reason why we have that set up like that. And this is it guys, all organized. Um, about to lock it up, that's why this is here. This doesn't normally go here, but everything organized guys. Everything is always at its place. Um, I just got to the trailer. The guys already worked for the day. They parked the trailer. This is the first time I see it in a couple of days i just opened it and it's they all have they all know the expectations they all know the what condition they need to leave the trailer in and how and everything needs to be at its place so i'm not surprised to find it in these conditions which is great I always have a garbage garbage can in your trailer guys you know you don't want garbage accumulating everywhere because they don't have nowhere to put it and yeah this is it this is a uh, this is the trailer i'm not gonna take up too much time on the trailer um I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about, like I said, uh, why we run the equipment we run um, on a regular basis. I did I did do a video on why we run it on a rainy on a rainy day, but this is why we have this set up the way we do. Um, there you go, guys. Uh, always put padlocks these type of padlocks on your on your trailer they work best logos and then here in the front i don't like using a boot for the tires because that's easily removed so i actually use this all right and i like to use this here here bear with me guys i'm one-handed right now there we go and then that way no one can take your trailer so slide right in here then you put your padlock in There you go guys, no one's getting through that right there. Okay. That's what we use. That's how we do. It's 
So there you have it guys, um, as promised, uh, that's the trailer. And um... All right guys, so quick explanation of, uh, of uh, what I use on my trimmers is, uh, so obviously Darwin Square, a lot of you guys have seen that out um, on, other, on other videos um, on the market. Um, I highly recommend them. Um, you know, I, I've had guys that have been, you know, uh, doing lawn care for years, trimming for years. Uh, I've never used the Darwin's grip. They come, they work for me. Uh, and I keep this in mind too, this, this, is, a, this is good info. Um, uh, sometimes you might hire somebody and they tell you they got experience and you put them on the, on the, on the trimmer, but you got that Darwin's grip on there. They're not going to trim, they're not going to trim the same way. Um, so, so don't think they're lying to you, you know, give them a chance. It does take a minute to get used to using the Darwin's grip. And that's what I was trying to say now. Um, you know, I have these guys that come, uh, they've never used it before. Um, you know, they're, they're not sure how they feel about it. They start using it. They, they, they tell me, man, this, this feels weird. I don't know. I'm not used to this. Give them a week, a week. You ask them about that same, that same trimmer with the Darwin's grip on there. They're going to tell you they love it, you know? Um, Plain and simple, they're gonna tell you they love it. And uh, like me, uh, I can't imagine trimming without the Darwin's grip. Actually, not too long ago, one of them fell off. Um, you know, one of the screws was loose, came off after over a year of using it. Um, only one of them came off, so they're pretty good. I'm not, I'm not putting them down or anything. Um, it came right back on, screwed it, it's fine. But when it came off, we ended up just using it all day because we didn't have time to put that thing back on there while we we're working. Um, and whoever had to use that trimmer, you know, whoever had to trim, they were grabbing the Darwin script first because no one had to trim with that trimmer. Uh, just because, man, it's, it's 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 a big difference. You, know, you don't have to be bent over and doing all that weird stuff, man. You can just trim comfortably with that, with that Darwin script on. So I know I went on a lot about the Darwin script, but uh, it's just because I highly recommend it. Um, I don't, you know, I, when I see guys out there uh, trimming when I'm driving and they're not using it, I just feel bad for them because I see them crouched over and, I feel for them, man. It's like this. It's just so much better with the Darwin's grip. Um, besides that, um, I always equip all my string trimmers with Darwin's grip, and all my trimmers with Speed Feed bump heads. Um, they're made by Echo. First thing I do when I buy a steel trimmer is I take off that bump head and I put the the Speed Feed bump head on there. Uh, first of all, uh, there's several reasons why. One of the reasons is because um, on the Speed Feed bump heads, it's flat. Okay, you don't have that middle part that pops out like on the steel does, so you can get it, you can cut lower profile with it. It's, it's easier to, to manage, it's easier to, to uh, to, it's just easier to trim and fly over a uh, sidewalk and the driveway, you know, and, and along the house. Man, you can just get nice and low and, and not worry about you know, I'm scraping, you know, I'm scraping there. Uh, you know, when you need a bump, it you just bump in, it comes, string comes right out. It's real easy, you don't have to worry about hitting the center or anything, you just bump it anywhere in that. On that bump and, and strings don't come out um, so that's one reason why i used the speed feed bump heads um another reason why is obviously the main reason why they were developed was because when you run out of string you don't have to take it apart and wind it up no you just slide it right through pull it evenly to when you got you got them both lines even and you just wind it up and that's it you're done um, so obviously that's the main reason why people buy them, but there's more reasons to use them as you go using them and you go finding out different things about them. Another reason why I love them is because when I'm trimming and I got to get into narrow spaces where I don't need a lot of string out, since they wind up, I can wind up my string to make it smaller. I don't have to, I don't have to eat it up or anything like that. You don't have to, I don't have to hit it against brick to make it smaller. I can just wind it up, save myself some string. Now I got smaller string and I can just jam it into the small place that I want. When I'm done in that one area, bump it out, back out and keep going. So it's very convenient to be able to do that. Um, another re another thing you're gonna notice, and then that's pretty much, I'm pretty sure there's more reasons. If anybody out there knows more reasons of why to use a speed feed bump head, please put it on the comment below, uh, cause they are awesome. If anybody uses Darwin script, please put it on the comment below. And another reason, another thing you're gonna notice about my trimmer is they don't have guards on them. I don't use guards on my trimmer, not cause it's a trend, because when you take that guard off, you're never gonna go back. You're never gonna put a guard back on the, on the trimmer. First of all, it makes the end lighter. Um, so you don't get as fatigued when you're using that trimmer. And second of all, uh, another reason is cause you can get into, into tighter areas without that guard. That dark, that, that guard gets in the way of trimming. Um, you can trim up against uh, um, 
houses, a tree, anything better without that garden away. Um, and also like if you want to wrap around a pole or a, a, a mailbox or anything like that, um, you don't have to turn your whole body around it. You can just stand on one side and just trim on, on you can trim around a whole pole without that guard on because it's not in the way. Um, highly recommend it. Uh, you know, I used to use the guard uh, and never, I've never put a guard. The first thing I do when I get a trimmer is those three things. I attach a darn grip onto it. I switch the, the bump head to a speed feed bump head and I take that guard off. Those three things are always done to all my trimmers and all the trimmers I use uh, as the video shows uh, uh, is the 111 RX. Um, it's not the regular, it's not the regular one. Uh, the one if, it, if it ends with an X, it's a lighter version of that model. So it's the, it's the lighter version of the 111 with the power. Uh, so we love it, it's got the power, it's, it's nice and light, so you know they don't get fatigued using it. Um, so yeah, uh, I just wanted to go over that with you guys. Everything else in the trailer is basic. Um, we don't we don't really change anything in there. You know, the, the, the edges are the way they come, the hedge trimmers and the blowers, we don't do any anything fancy to those things um the the two push mowers in there in the corner um they are modified that's why you see the bags on them we don't bag yards um the only reason those bags are in there is because that's the only model i can find with rear wheel um that was set it was nice and light 70 pounds it wasn't heavier um but unfortunately it only had the rear discharge and then have the side discharge um and i don't like using it without the bagger because that flap goes down and if you keep that flap open you're gonna get hit by some something a rock or a log or something so what i did is i cut holes in the bottom of those baggers so grass can flow easily and it still drops but if something heavy goes in there like if you hit a rock the bagger will catch and won't hit the guy so those are modified uh you can't see it in the video they just look like we bag yards but we don't they're uh they're modified to drop grass um because they got holes in the bottom of those baggers um so that's a good hint anybody wants to get some light mowers and it's real discharge and it's kind of throwing you off and, and you don't want to get it just always remember you can carve a, a nice square underneath those those baggers and it'll drop the grass it won't get full and won't get clogged you got nice flow and you got a nice lightweight push mower in there okay guys um besides that uh as the video explains uh everything i have in there is, is what we're using for, for the season um you know you always have three string trimmers in my in my in my trailers we always have the two edges in my trailer we always have two hedge trimmers in my trailer uh we always got three blowers there's always two backpack blowers in there i didn't see my hand blower uh, my supervisor might have must have it in his truck or something because I didn't see it in the trailer. Uh, but yeah, there was a blower missing, but it's just a handheld. Guys, the handheld is not a uh, go-to. The go-to are the uh, 800X blowers in there. Um, but if there's a third guy, uh, my rule my, in my business is always there is no downtime until all the work is done and the trailer is closed and all three guys are going in the truck. Meaning there shouldn't ever be a guy standing around doing nothing. So... If two guys are blowing and the third guy ain't got nothing to do because he's done all his stuff, he should be he'll be grabbing the hand blower and just helping out with the little areas, the little patios and you know or whatnot or the cars and things like that. Cause the, the hand blower is not as powerful as the as the backpack blowers, but it's just to keep somebody busy. Um and I don't need three backpack blowers, like I said in previous videos. All my all my lawns are between a quarter acre and a half acre. I don't do anything bigger than that. So there's no need to have three heavy duty backpack blowers in there two heavy duty backpack backpack blowers in there is already good enough okay um those are the main things you're always gonna have in there of course the two stand-ons and the two push mowers there's extra stuff in the trailer but that's just for extra work but as far as lawn care those are the main things um and um of course always have garbage bags guys rakes catchies i got recommended in the video those catchies are the bomb subscribe hit the bell leave me a thumbs up if you like the video Feel free to leave a comment too, that always helps. Peace.